Hi everybody and welcome to this video. Um, what we're going to be looking at today is transferring Windows to Go from this mechanical hard drive to an Intel SSD. But first, if you like my videos or if you like in particular if you like this video uh, after you've watched it please like it um if you like my content please subscribe and if you want notifications of future videos please click that bell and let's get to it so i'm creating a video on how to clone a hard drive. There are many uh, clone programs out there. Some free, some paid. Um, it all depends on preference. Um, normally when you get an SSD though, you do get access to some sort of clone software but I've got various drives and um, I picked the program I'm about to use so what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the Windows to go drive up So that's that connected up there. As you can see, there we go. Windows to go. And close that off. And then I've got another drive enclosure. I did have another drive enclosure. There it is. Right. Same as before, uh, the other one, but different colour. So. This one I've plugged into USB 3. This one I am actually going to plug into a USB C. But the drive that I've gotten, it is a it, it is a used drive, don't get me wrong. Um and It's been used quite a lot. It has performance wise gone down to about 91%. Now, some people will say I wouldn't bother. If I've got a copy, a carbon copy of a drive, then it's not a problem because that I can put into storage, put into a packet, put it away. And use it if this drive fails. I can carbon copy it again. So I'm going to connect this one up. drive so it's basically got nothing on it right not a problem so what we would normally use is like I say, be said before um, you would normally use there are certain by there was there are certain free programs or even paid programs one one of the big ones is called a Cronus um one of the free ones and that's a paid service one of the free ones is macrium um it's all down to preference there are like i said there are the manufacturers of the drives are using their own versions of the clone softwares 
So I've got Seagate, uh, Disk Wizard, and this uses um, a Cronus as its as as its system. So as you can see, a, a, a Cronus there, Universal. You can buy the full version to unlock that. So you can buy the on the uh, full version to unlock a, uh, the full Acronis. So I'm going to go on to Clone Disk. Now I'm going to go Automatic and then I'm going to select the Western Digital. Uh, drive as my source disk so I'll give this a few seconds give it a few more seconds And give it even more few few more seconds. It's just reading the disc. That's all it's doing at the moment. And it's still loading. Right, so we are now able to select our destination disk. So it, for this instance, I'm using the 180 gigabyte Intel SSD, which is that one there. And I'm clicking this, it'll say the destination hard disk you've chosen contains some partitions that could contain your sub data. I click what came for confirm deletion of the partitions on the destination of hard disk drive. It's not a hard disk drive, it's an SSD, but there you go. So this will check the SSD on the hard drive. Can't remember which one was which. That's the SSD, yes. So So now it's um, telling us what the drive is before, so what it is at the moment. This is the SSD. It's telling us. So this is what it's doing. It, what it's like at the moment, and this is what it's going to be like afterwards. And it says the selected the selected disk will be restored as is. Disk layout will remain GPT. So we click on just proceed and give that a few seconds to start. Hopefully.
and still hopefully there we go so I'm just gonna put a little music on while we are uh, Right, so I'm just going to pause the video here um, and join back when it's near enough uh, completed. It shouldn't take too long, so... I'll see you, I'll see you when it's finished. So I'm back with one minute remaining um, and it's taken about half an hour um, to copy that's obviously the speed of the mechanical hard drive that I'm using the Western Digital so So we're nearly finished now. Um, I've got less than a minute. And that should be it. So there we go, that's it, that um, copied and created. And it's just synchronizing with the operating system, what it needs to do. So... It's taken a long time, I must admit. And there we have it. The hard drive was successfully cloned. So we can close all this off. And if we go to eject, as you can see there, we have our external USB 3 on both D and E. So we'll eject both of them. And that one I've just ejected was the hard drive. And there we go. Right, so what I'm gonna do is quickly check so I'll have to shut down the system we start I know I'm plugging the front of this computer has USB 2 so
just and confirm that about. Words and we are booted. Now, bear in mind this is USB 2 speed, so normally it would run a lot faster on an SSD. But my front part on this machine is USB 2. And there we go. And I've basically got it as near enough a carbon copy of the hard drive in this one. So So there we go. Um So if you like this like this video um please click the like one the like the thumbs up um if you like my content please subscribe and also click the notification bell if you would like to receive notifications on when i create videos thank you very much for your time and i'll see you in the next video